Let's think about the holidays. Shall we do that? And uh, who better than Skip Johnson to talk about ways that uh, we don't break the bank when it comes to you, you know all that holiday shopping, and we need a budget certainly. Uh, Skip Johnson from Great Waters Financial here this morning. Nice to Good see morning. You. Great to be here. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this because we know it is a tough time when the holidays roll around for uh, Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Uh, there are ways. Uh, we're spending, maybe we, we go broke spending money. We, we want to avoid the, the holiday financial hangover, right. I guess. So first of all, remember Christmas is not a financial emergency. True. It comes around the same time every single year and has for thousands of years. So let's, let's ideally plan uh, you know, in advance. But we've got to start with assessing the situation. You know, A lot of times I sit down with somebody if I were to ask them, what do you actually owe on credit cards? What's really in the bank account? Give or take 500 bucks, most people would not know. And so you need to assess where you're at so you can get an idea of what can I afford to spend this year. If this is a new thing, really budgeting, start with finding out where you are. So how do you go about assessing kind of your financial situation, especially right now? I mean, one of the ways is just a ledger of what you own versus what you owe. So assets and liabilities, you know, what are the balances of those credit cards? What's in the bank? want the emergency fund, you know, and then start with the budget is next. And I would say that when you list it out, uh, it's not just the gifts, you know, and it's not just me and Amy, it's not just the girls, it's mm -hmm. siblings and it's nieces and nephews mm -hmm. and it's parents and it's kids' your, teachers. Your buddy, the news anchor. My buddy, the news anchor, you know, I need to get some Throw golf balls or something, I don't know. <laughs> and then it's a uh, note to self, send time. <laughs> uh, no, then it's... Uh, but it's, it's Christmas meals, yeah. it's travel, it's buying bottles of wine or whatever to, for Christmas parties. Right. It will shock people when they add it up. Well, right, and all the, it, like you said, all the kind of the people on the, the periphery, like you're the guy who cuts your hair, the gal, uh, the, your newspaper care, all it's, of that. It's the tips, it's all of the that. The garbage yeah. guy, all, <laughs> it adds up. And we know the holidays can be tempting when it comes to purchases and you see all the great deals, uh, but how do you manage your, your savings too during the holidays? Yeah, I would say put it on autopilot. Um, one of the challenges I have when I work with business owners who control their cash flow is they kind of wait till the end of the year to see if there's money left, mm -hmm. and then they save. Um, a lot of times, people that are just on the 401k contributions that happen regularly by default, it's a heck of a lot easier to save. Don't stop your savings just because Christmas rolled around. Right. How important, and I, I would imagine very, uh, is it to start kind of planning for next year? You might feel like you're behind the eight ball, right? So you're looking ahead and you can kind of figure out if you add that all up, what do you want to spend next year? Start saving now for the future and be willing to make some changes. One thing my family's doing is on my side of the family, we're foregoing a lot of Christmas presents mm -hmm. to be able to make it easier for everybody to afford a nice trip to Florida, rent a house on the beach. Sure. We're going to have a great time making memories as opposed to giving pink plastic stuff. You know, th that makes a lot of sense because, you know, you get to a point sometimes in your life where do I really need more stuff or are memories and family time all the more important? And I would go, I would always put it on the latter. I, I think, I think memories are more important than stuff. That's time right. together is more important than stuff. And, and you can do a lot of things. It doesn't have to be a trip to Florida. It could just be right. time together doing something great. Well, that's exactly right. It could be going to the new Holodazzle at Loring Park and going Absolutely. ice skating with the whole family, something like that. Skip, thanks so much. Great to be here. All the best. Good Thanksgiving. It was fantastic. Yeah. And you, you entertained a few times. I did. I don't know if my turkey turned out as well as when <laughs> I saw you post. I got to say, it turned out pretty well. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you the brine recipe. I, I'm sharing right. that now. Uh -huh. we'll get that later. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Skip Johnson from Great Waters Financial. For all things financial, you can go to Skip's website. It is greatwatersfinancial.com. That's greatwatersfinancial.com. Thanks again. Okay.